Hi, welcome along to another video. Links to the articles are in the information section of this video. Just like to start with a thank you for the donation. You'll know who you are. Thank you very much. First one, much appreciated. A little bit of channel admin. I was quiet for a little while because um, got banned from YouTube. It's also banned from Facebook, which was totally earned. You know, you know how it is. Um, but the YouTube one's very amusing. I was banned for a week for harmful and dangerous content for a video from May 2020 and this was a couple of weeks ago 22nd of April 2021 so nine months after I put the video out YouTube decide that it's got harmful or dangerous content in it and they banned me for a week so there you go hey Facebook jail and YouTube jail all in the same week it clearly takes two jails to hold this office down We'll start in Taiwan via the Guardian, parched Taiwan. Praise for rain as Sun Moon Lake is hit by drought. And passed in with the esoteric, there have been mass prayer events to the god Matsu and government scientists have conducted the immature technology of cloud seeding. Hmm. Same story in the New York Times. Military planes are dumping cloud seeding chemicals in hopes of triggering downpours. Taiwan weather is currently being modified. In Bloomberg article about the shrinking population in China brightens the climate outlook. Addressing climate change may require us to wade into potentially awkward topics including nuclear power and geoengineering. So population reduction the usual story. Over to the United Arab Emirates the UAE got a few articles to share this time about the UAE as you remember we spoke about it recently with the experiments that will be going on with electrifying the sky to see if it creates rain so there's an article about urban development in the UAE may be limiting pollution levels say scientists the research also suggested that cloud seeding may likewise have helped to clean the air by encouraging rainfall however other researchers who released their findings early this year suggested that cloud seeding in which silver iodide particles are blasted into the atmosphere using aeroplane mounted flares to encourage water droplet formation may instead increase ground level pollution. The National Centre of Meteorology which runs the cloud seeding operations rejected this suggestion and insisted that the activity cuts pollution. There's some pictures of uh, cloud seeding planes. And where you're also reminded, the UAE's National Centre of Meteorology has teamed up with experts from the UK to study whether electricity can help produce rain. That would be the drone one. So before that recent article where it said that cloud seeding is increasing ground level pollution, but the meteorology department says no it ain't, a few months before, it was announced that that study would be taking place regarding the drone experiment that's or drones experiment that will be taking place or is taking place there's some more articles around regarding that we also covered it in the video from the 20th of march from a couple of months ago so if you want to get more in depth into that experiment there's a little bit about it in that report so then we get to the beginning of may and in the news start to get weather alerts for hail, rain, strong winds, dust storm and overcast skies for parts of Abu Dhabi, Dubai and other Emirates and in the smaller headline there cloud seeding flights dispatched in the Abu Dhabi world from the same day more unsettled weather predicted cloud seeding has already begun to increase the amount of rain volume received in the Arabian Gulf so the Emirates weather is modified currently the day before those articles in the Khalij Times expect more pre-summer rain says expert the rainfall being received in the UAE since last week is a normal weather pattern because of the convective cloud formation eastwards according to a local weather forecaster cloud seeding operations have been taking place lately in the country to further enhance rainfall so there you have it next to each other the rainfall received in the country over the recent days is normal during this time of year. 
Cloud seeding operations, weather modification, have been taking place lately in the country to further enhance rainfall. So the weather's normal, but weather modification has taken place, which is not normal, is it? So I hope this helps you understand why people are just confused in general on planet Earth, is because this is the level of conversation that is taking place. The weather is normal, and in the next sentence, the weather is being modified, but it's normal. It's next level, isn't it? I'm sure you would agree. I know you will agree. So moving on over to Channel News Asia. In their commentary section, there are no quick fixes to climate change, even if Bill Gates says so. And this is written by an MIT economics professor. Haven't seen this anywhere else. It's so kind of interesting that it's published in Asia and not in America, etc. His push for solar geoengineering is a step in the wrong direction because it may undermine the incentives that are needed to meet the challenge of climate change. But either way, regardless of what you believe with the climate change debate, he's saying that Bill Gates' Bill Gates's operations to do with solar geoengineering is a step in the wrong direction. Reuters, I'm going to try and not laugh now. You can feel free to. So to be clear in this Reuters article from May the 11th, a couple of days ago, it's a Reuters fact check. Okay, you can see it there. If you miss it there, just in case, it's by Reuters fact check. So you can see it again there. And just in case you didn't notice it the first two times in really big letters, it's fact check. So social media posts misrepresent Bill Gates' initiatives to tackle world poverty and disease. No, they don't. <laughs> what are they going on about? So, claims that Bill Gates has chosen to pump his money into nefarious projects that include blocking out the sun. And then it goes on about vaccines. Instead of ending poverty and bettering the environment are misleading. Posts containing these assertions misrepresent the Microsoft co-founder's well-publicised aims to fight global inequality and climate change, amongst other things. So, first sentence, claims that Bill Gates has chosen to pump his money into nefarious projects that include blocking out the sun, are misleading. But they're not, they're true, they're absolutely true. The Reuters fact check article here is trying to mislead people into believing that those facts are misleading and this is not true and to, I'm sure you're noticing and I would urge all of you to read this article go and click the link go and read it because you will not believe the level of gushing and Reuters sticking up for their mate Bill going on in this article it's absolutely laughable it is truly laughable and they are clearly understand this they are clearly getting very desperate and that's why i urge you to go and read this so you can see that it's almost like children in the playground coming up to you and going uh you've been nasty to our friend and that's what it's like that's the level of the article okay and they've done it in a nice social media network post style with lots of associating links to prove what they're saying is true and stuff so okay staying on topic claims that bill gates has chosen to pump his money in inverted commas there into nefarious projects dodgy projects that include blocking out the sun and it's misleading as established Lo those of you that saw the last video will know i went into a not that much depth but a bit of depth into showing that what Reuters have written here is a lie. And just to quickly point out this piece, a meme comprising the claims has been shared hundreds of times on Facebook and includes a green filtered image of Gates's face. So memes with factual claims, provable claims have been shared on Facebook hundreds of times. It's not thousands or tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, <laughs> millions out of the 16 billion Facebook users or whatever it is nowadays hundreds of times and they claim that the blocking out the sun stuff refers to a geoengineering experiment overseen by Harvard University as a potential way to cool the planet so nothing to see here and also it's by Harvard University it's got nothing to do with Bill Gates has it no of course not 
Bill Gates has been the target of many baseless conspiracy theories since the big pandemic began. So not before then, since the pandemic began. Let's be clear, it's like, you know, it's only for a year or so. This is completely new. No one's ever, ever said anything before. Are we all programmed with that now? Excellent, well done. In their verdict, missing context. The Facebook post has misrepresented Bill Gates' stated philanthropic aims. Whether or not users agree he has taken the best approach for spending his wealth, blah, blah, blah. This article was produced by the Reuters fact check team. Read more about our fact checking work here. The Thomson Reuters trust principles. Well, there's no need to do that. I'll save you doing any of that and we can fact check what Reuters are claiming ourselves. Via the UK's Guardian newspaper, obviously well respected newspaper, Mentioned this in the last video, the powerful coalition that wants to engineer the world's climate. Bill Gates is also an investor in a firm named Intellectual Ventures that is promoting a scheme called Stratoshield, which would pump sulphur dioxide into the upper atmosphere. Did I mention this article is from 10 years ago? I also showed you from the Internet Archive the grants for research are provided to the University of Calgary from gifts made by Mr. Gates from his personal funds, not from the Gates Foundation. So they're from his personal funds. He's donating. The people he's donating to are Dr. David Keith of the Uni of Calgary and Ken Caldera of the Carnegie Institution. Okay, David Keith, of course, now of Harvard. Join the dots, make the connections. Reuters are lying to you. Some of the funding supports research projects of Drs. Keith and Caldera, and some supports projects outside their institutions. Carnegie, just mentioned them. You can look at this article if you want. The EU's much flaunted climate leadership is full of loopholes. There is a hidden danger in the race to net zero. Stalling and banking on technological innovations that do not yet exist such as carbon capture systems or geoengineering, whose impacts on living systems we cannot anticipate. Geoengineering does not exist yet. Okay, that's an interesting claim. The race to net zero. Lots of associated words go with net zero, such as carbon net zero, this net zero, that net zero. But really it's about this net zero. Don't ever forget that. Bacheningen university and research the emerging politics of geoengineering on may the 18th between 5 and 6 p.m in the afternoon european central time so that's um about midday american time around that there is an online seminar where dr muller will present recent developments and her work on the emerging politics of geoengineering that's an online seminar it's free to register for that seminar and it's going to be going out on the zoom platform for those of you that wish to do that it's in about five days time america like i'm gonna leave you out come on drought in idaho how did we get here despite mitigation efforts such as cloud seeding programs drought conditions are likely to cause water shortages so it's not working then why are you doing it so how did you get there how did Idaho get into such a drought situation? Well, if we go over to Idaho Power and their cloud seeding frequently asked questions, which is weather modification, how long has Idaho Power been involved in cloud seeding, weather modification? The original program was established to increase snow accumulation beginning in 2003. So it's now 17, 18 years ago. So I hope that helps you understand why you're in a drought now. It's because you've, you've been allowing your weather to be modified for the last nearly 20 years. It's kind of like the consequences of what happens when you interfere with things that you shouldn't be interfering with. It generally goes wrong in the long term. It might solve your problem today, but it probably increase another problem tomorrow. So Idaho people, hope that helped you uh, understand the same with Reuters, hope you understand your fact-checking department should be fired.
How long have things not been spoken about for? The technology has been used since the late 1940s to enhance precipitation and also to dissipate fog and reduce the size of hailstones. Wow, so that's coming up to a good sort of 70 years then, where people are just not paying attention to this. Indonesia. We applaud the efforts that are being used to combat the wildfires, ranging from weather modification technology, such as cloud seeding before the peak of the dry season. Indonesia. Your weather is modified. That's a roundup of some of the news going around. Uh, if you're still listening, thanks. Always remember, you are the resistance then, eh? And um, if you buy me a coffee, thank you. Someone has, believe me, someone... It's in the bag. The first one is in the bag. Um, see you next time.